Hello everyone. Several years ago on my channel, I posted a male makeup tutorial, which has proved to be my most successful so far. Within that tutorial, I showcased how you can enhance, how you can polish, how you can refine and prep a male for every day, as well as for industry. I guess you could say today is part two. The look that I've created for you today is very polished. It's also face and body. I shall be showing you how to enhance and how to polish the male body and how to enhance and define and refine the muscles upon a male. Now, I'm not going to be doing this look on myself, however. I have an absolutely gorgeous model with us today and his name is Sadiq Ali. He is an artist, a performer and a model. He's also Scottish, just like myself, which is marvellous. And I discovered him through his social media and I thought, goodness gracious, this chap is absolutely dashing. We must have him in. The look that I'm creating for you today is a little more excessive than that of an everyday male makeup, but you can always apply a little bit less and it would be more suitable for everyday if that is what you desire. And of course, I shall leave the applicable links to Sadiq's social media within the description of this film, as I'm sure many of you will want to go and have a tremendous spy on him afterwards. And I very much hope you enjoy the look. So I am first of all applying La Creme Concentrate liberally to the skin with a brush, just working the product into the skin. I do tend to find this product is best applied with hands, as you can really work it into the skin. And I am applying a little bit of that to the ear and quite a thick amount to the under eyes and working that product into the neck as well. Of course it varies on individual but I do tend to find that male skin is a lot drier than that of a female. Then I am applying MAC Cosmetics Face and Body Foundation in the shade C4 and I am applying that to begin with just with my finger to the centre of the face and working it into the skin and applying it all over the face. I tend to just slap on quite a large amount of this as it's a very thin formula, but once you start to work it into the skin and really buff it around and blend it, you get a really beautiful finish. Then I am taking a fairless blending brush and applying a little bit of that product to the neck and buffing and stippling the product into the skin, applying additional product where need be and just buffing it in. By buffing the product around the nose and the crevices of the face, you create a poreless, seamless finish. By buffing the product into the skin, you actually correct the texture of the product, so it becomes one with the skin, appearing more natural. And you can really build up the amount of coverage and product that you want with this technique. And apply a little bit of that to the neck, ever so slightly, just to balance out the tone and applying a little bit of the product to the ear, just to reduce any additional redness that is present. Then I am taking MAC Cosmetics Pro Longwear Concealer in the shade NC20, and I am applying that first of all with my finger, just dabbing it underneath the eye, and really patting the product in. By applying this product with your finger, you can really melt the product into the skin. Now there is a visible difference between the two eyes, one with product and one without. This step just really enhances and lifts the eyes, and really awakens the face. As you can see on the eye that we have not applied product to, there is slight discoloration at the outer corner, which is natural in everyone, but just by applying a little bit of concealer over that area, you can cancel that out, which then lifts the eye and pulls it out ever so slightly, uplifting the features and concealing around the nose just to reduce any redness that may appear. This is very common in most people. Then I am dabbing a little bit of that product in the inner corner and the upper inner corner just to brighten the eye and with delicate patting motions. I am just merging that product into the skin. Then I am taking a smaller buffing brush, this one is by Fairless, and this is great for blending more specifically. And with small dabbing and patting motions, you can really blend the product in. Then I am taking our buffing brush from before, and just buffing everything through just to ensure seamlessness. And just applying a little bit of that product ever so slightly beneath the lips, just to ensure that the tone is consistent throughout. And by applying a small amount of concealer, it just lifts the features into place. Then I am applying this Super Cover Foundation in the shade 22 on a Zova cheek brush. And I am bronzing, sculpting and contouring the face with this product. As you can see, I am not being very specific with it. I want it to look as seamless and as natural as possible. This step just enhances the features and the skin tremendously. And the great thing about working with cream products 
is that you can apply as little or as much as you want and just blend it down if you make any mistakes. And by pinching the brush, this gives me a much more specific application. And I am applying this product to the tip of the nose, not to contour, but just to keep the tone consistent throughout and softening through with our buffing brush. Then I'm taking MAC Cosmetics Pressed Blotting Powder in medium dark and applying a light layer of that to the underneath of the eyes and up the side of the nose. And a recommendation that I will make is to turn to the side in the light and just make sure that the sides of the nose, especially around the crevice, is matte. Now I like to keep a tiny bit of shine just here at the top of the nose, but I do like to keep the forehead quite matte. I think it just keeps the skin looking quite natural when there's a tiny bit of sheen. And I apply powder down the center of the nose, but leaving a tiny bit of sheen at the tip. And then powdering through the rest of the center of the face and a slight amount on the ears. Then I'm taking MAC Cosmetics Bronzing Powder in the shade Matte Bronze. And I am further intensifying the bronzer that we have already applied. And I'm dusting a slight layer of this around the face. This step will slightly mattify what we have already applied as well as warming up the face. And I'm applying a slight amount of that to the ears just to warm them up slightly. And by building up the product very slowly, you create a really beautiful gradient. Then I am taking Sleek Makeup's Face Form Contouring and Blush Palette in the shade Medium and applying this beautiful bronze golden shade, building and buffing that onto the high points of the face. By applying a slight amount of iridescent shimmer ever so slightly to the face, it brings an essence of life and glow to the skin. It can seem quite daunting at first, but by applying it gradually and just building it up very, very slowly, you begin to create this really beautiful, soft sheen to the skin. Then I am applying that down the center of the nose and a tiny bit of it on the tip, going back in with our powder brush from before and just muting it down ever so slightly and a slight amount of it to the ears, and a tiny coat of it everywhere. This is a technique that I use just to bring an essence of life back into the skin. Then brushing through the brows with a disposable mascara wand. Now I'm applying MAC Cosmetics Brow Set to the eyebrows. Sadiq's eyebrows shall not require additional enhancing, as they are rather full. Then I'm applying a slight amount of that to the moustache to hold everything in place. Then I am going in with some QVS eyelash curlers, Curling the eyelashes is an absolutely essential step as it just lifts and enlargens the eyes. Then on a bare torso, I am spraying on this dry oil by Nukes. This dry oil is absolutely fantastic. It smells and photographs beautifully. And having applied a liberal amount of the product, I am then rubbing it into the skin with my hands, dispersing the product entirely across the body and a slight amount of it onto the ears. Always make sure that you apply a little bit of the product to the knuckles just to enhance and disguise any dryness as moisturized hands always look healthier. This oil shall also serve as a base for the product that we wish to apply next and really working it into the skin. Then I am taking Supercover's Ultimate Foundation in the shade 28 on a Charles Fox brush and following the natural contours of the body and beginning to sketch in the shape. The main objective being darken the darker areas and lighten the lighter areas. You can always ask your model to tense slightly or strain so it emphasizes the natural contours of the body which will give you a greater guideline as to where to put your contour. And what I'm doing is taking that darker shade through the body, sketching through areas I wish to accentuate the depth of, following the shape of the muscles, and sketching out the areas I wish to darken. This process of contouring the rectus abdominis, the sternocleidomastoid muscle, as well as the front deltoid muscle and underneath of the pectoral region, as well as the clavicle bones, really enhance the bone and muscle structure and Sadiq's statuesque frame. Then I'm taking a little bit of the darker shade on our bronzer brush from before and blending that through what we have already applied, adding definition. Then I am taking a clean silver brush and gently buffing through what we have already applied. I do not wish to disperse what we have applied too much, but I want it to look as natural as possible. So I'm carefully blending the edges, being sure not to overblend the product to the point where it is no longer visible. It is simply a case of slowly blurring the product. The Nukes oil for which that we have previously applied proves to be most useful as it allows you to blend the product into the skin with greater ease. 
and you can go back in and apply additional product if need be. By just building up the product slowly and blending between each step, you create a strong contour with a beautiful gradient. With the contour shade now applied, I am now going in and highlighting with this super cover foundation in the shade 11 on a clean Zover brush. And I'm taking that through the higher points of the muscles and I'm buffing it on very gently, taking it along the collarbones only applying it to areas I wish to highlight, emphasize, and bring forward. Applying a liberal amount of the shoulders, this just broadens the body and furthers the masculine appearance. And you just apply this as highlighter to the areas that appear lighter. And going in with our brush from before, and I'm just blending all of that together ever so slightly, ensuring seamlessness, really gently buffing and blending it out, but being aware not to diffuse it to the point where it no longer has a presence. With the contouring and highlighting emphasization now complete, I am now applying this Inglot Sparkling Dust, which is this really intense, beautiful gold loose pigment, which is highly shimmery, sparkly, and iridescent. And I'm buffing that into the skin with a large silver powder brush, really bringing attention to the higher points of the limbs, the muscles, and the bones. And to further blend that product into the skin and the product that we have already applied, I'm just buffing it in with my hands ever so slightly. And if it be your desire, you can really build this product up to a very high shine. And going in with our bronzer from before, I'm setting through all of our contours ever so slightly, just to mattify our contours and add greater depth, enhancing and furthering the shadow. Then I'm going in with this Laura Mercier Radiance Baked Body Bronzer, which is one of my most very favorite products, as it is this beautiful bronzy gold color, and I'm applying a liberal amount of that absolutely everywhere, adding glow and sheen to the body. And then on a Pro Arte brush, I'm taking the Balm's Merry Luminizer, which is this highly iridescent pale gold highlighter. And I have chosen to use a brush that is quite small so that I can apply highlighter to areas quite particularly. I am first of all applying that to the humeral bone area and then taking that highlighter along the collarbones, applying a great amount of it to the pectoral region. And I always think that the sunken area where the collarbones meet just above the sternum bone always looks fantastic with a great amount of highlighter upon it. Applying highlighter to the sternocleidomastoid muscles, then applying highlighter to each of the highest points of the rectus abdominis muscle, as well as to the highest points of the oblique muscles. So that more or less completes the look. I very much enjoy creating and sharing with you looks and techniques often practiced within my work. These varied steps of product application may seem elaborate, but are actually incredibly easy to apply and really showcase and enhance the upright beauty of the male body. This look is most suitable for special occasion, performance, as well as industry, as it is universally flattering and refining to the pre-existing features. And I think Sadiq carried this look very well. Then I am applying a slight amount of Carmex lip balm to the lips and I am pushing and dabbing the product into the lip as it is very humectant yet it doesn't give too much shine. Very suitable for male grooming. Completing the look. So you just keep on adding a little bit of shimmer and you just build it up as you go along just so that it becomes very gradual but quite full on over time. Never apply too much to begin with, just a little bit as you go along and then you will build up this beautiful glossy, chic, soft look but it's still very very strong. But that more or less completes the look today and I hope you found this really interesting and helpful and of course we must thank our dear model Sadiq for coming in today and being this Gorgeous entity. I must say, you are glowing greater than the gods. You are glowing greater <laughs> Thank you, than the gods. Thank you very much for watching, and of course, take care of yourself. Bye. Bye.